Hi Go-Getters, welcome to Gracefully the Vlog. My name is Grace and today we're going to talk about the best, most unique wedding ever. Our wedding on Carnival Cruise. Valentine's Week go-getters. I am so excited to share my unique non-traditional wedding with you guys. But before I get started, I want you to comment if you have any questions about Carnival Cruise weddings or about cruise weddings in general, and I'll be sure to answer. With that said, I am also excited about something else. I have the privilege and the honor to share the Covington couch with none other than my husband. Eric. Hey everybody. Everybody, this is my husband Eric, and we are also known as ENG. We are happy to share our wedding with you. Yes, definitely. All of the uniqueness. Yeah. All of the craziness that went on. Yeah, some good crazy, bad crazy. Yeah. A little mix of both. But we want to tell you not only about our wedding, but also the reception and the honeymoon, the whole rundown. The good, the bad, the ugly. Mm -hmm. and the beautiful. We were married on the Carnival Pride cruise ship on embarkation day. We flew in from Houston yeah. to Baltimore because my family is from Richmond, Virginia. Yeah, it was, it was a great flight. We flew up on Spirit. She wasn't really for it. She was like, oh, Spirit is gonna suck. <laughs> and I was like, no, they're not so bad. And he was like, yeah, they're really bad. Yeah. So um, I was like, okay, we'll take Spirit, and then when we do the layover, we'll just end up going to Delta. Delta, yeah, and we switched over in Atlanta, and mm -hmm. Delta ended up being way worse than Spirit. We it's actually had leg room on Spirit. The landing was pretty smooth, like very smooth. Yeah. I would say nine out of ten. And when we got on Delta flight, we had the farthest seat in the back. Yeah. We were cramped oh, up, <laughs> cramped, and then the landing was terrible. It was just so jumpy and everything, and I couldn't believe it. And that's why I fly Southwest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, it was crazy though, but I mean, it was just a good trip. I mean, being that we got married in Baltimore. We ended up going on a carnival cruise to the Bahamas. It was a seven day yeah. cruise, and it took us to Freeport and Nassau. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was really cool. And then when we got married on the cruise, all of the guests that were there, um, they allowed us to have 50 guests in total, but they said if we had guests that were actually selling with us, we can actually have more. And um, it was funny because I was telling her that the whole time we was planning for the wedding, she was like, no, it, we can only get 50. I'm like, no, <laughs> if some people sell, we can have more. It, it's, they it's weird. So just double check and triple check. A uh, number of guests, but they told us uh, 50. 50. Once everything was checked, I got together with my guests. Eric at that time was with the guys. I didn't know where he was, but the coordinators told me, look, he's out of sight. He's in another room. He's blindfolded. How was that experience? Because I wasn't there. I didn't know what was going on. He actually got there before I got there. And that was done intentionally, though. He got there first to make sure that he wouldn't see me. They had us all to the side. I had a blindfold on the whole time. So I was walking around feeling like Batman. I couldn't even <laughs> see anything. And then like people had to tell me, oh, go left, go right. And I was like, hey, is she even in the building yet? Because if she's not, then I don't need it yet. <laughs> when the bridesmaids and I finally made it to the room, the room was so beautiful. It had flowers on the bed. It had a cute little swan. And they were getting ready. And as I pulled out my dress, I realized that I did not have my hoop skirt and I was freaking out because a hoop skirt made the dress voluminous and, and all beautiful. So I would say like whenever you're going through the checkpoints and you're going through and you know that you know that you got everything, just double check, triple check. Make sure that you have that because you never know. Because like once you're on the ship and you're there. Make sure you do your checks and if you have someone assigned to your things, your belongings, make sure that they check as well. Not only was my hoop skirt missing, the next thing you know, the coordinator came to me and said that the sand was missing. Uh -huh. At that point, I was devastated. I went into the bathroom and I was in tears. 
That's crazy. That's still crazy. I heard it got back to you, too. Well, yeah. Well, once I knew that the sand wasn't there, I already knew that you was going to be upset about it. So before the coordinator even got with you, I said to your dad, I said, hey, uh, you know the sand's missing, right? So he's like, oh, okay, let me find my daughter. Find my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny about that, though, he's like trying to find me, but one of my bridesmaids told the coordinators, go get her mom. And so while I'm in the bathroom crying, I finally come out and my matron of honor and maid of honor, they're telling me, you know, it's okay, you know, calm yeah, down, yeah. everything's gonna be perfect, everything's gonna be great. Right. But I wasn't hearing that, okay? Not at all, I was not hearing that. Mm -hmm. But then my mom came in and she just, with her sweet voice, she said, Grace, your dress is beautiful. You look beautiful. And when she told me that, I just, like all of the weight just lifted off me and I was just like, you know what? It's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we finally got down. We went um, down on the elevator and I was making sure that um, my flower girl, her hair was good and everything. And when and I went I'm still down, in blindfold, by the way. <laughs> my dad did check on me and I told him, you know, I was good at that point. And so we kind of walked around just to make sure I could walk in my dress. I did not do a traditional dress at all. My dress was purple. Right. <laughs> and the reason why my dress is purple is because purple is his favorite color. But I wanted to wear a purple gown because right. Proverbs 31 yeah. talks about a virtuous woman wearing gowns of purple. And that the dress being his favorite color, I was just like, hey, it's a win-win. Yeah. And so brides, I strongly believe that you can do whatever you want to do. I kept saying, my wedding, my way. So do it your way, switch it up, make it unique, make it beautiful, do your thing. When I walked down the aisle with my dad to the song that Eric and I created, every stress, every concern that I had just melted away. And my focus, <laughs> my focus was on me the Aww. entire time, just looking and gazing into his eyes and being in the moment. My focus was on not crying. <laughs> you laughing. And, and the song that we created, I called it, I Choose You. It got you. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was getting to me. Mm -hmm. and like, your cuz, she was over there. I looked up and like, a few of your bridesmaids was in the cry and then your cuz, Toya, is like standing there and she's about to cry. I'm like, hey, get it together. Like, <laughs> It's game time, like get it together. And uh, she just started laughing. And it helped me out because it helped me uh, contain it just for that split second. As I mentioned, I was stressed out in reference to the sand ceremony. But let me tell you, carnival is amazing. Yeah. Our mothers were supposed to come up and they were gonna have purple sand and white sand and they were going to pour the sand at the bottom as the foundation. Right, because they birthed us and they were the first person to actually, they were the first people to give us love, pretty much. Right. And so I was just thinking, well, there would be no sand ceremony. Let me tell you how awesome Carnival is. They went into the restaurant and they got sugar. And the officiant said that the sugar, as the mothers poured the sugar, was all of the sweetness and all of the joy and all of the love and that was our foundation and the blue sand that the officiant had she ended up pouring that as the adventures that we would have along the way in our marriage and when i tell you it was the most beautiful most unique sand ceremony ever i feel like us not having that sand right was meant to be because it was just it was incredible I'm telling you, at that point when I saw the sand, the sand ceremony, I'm telling you, at that point when I saw the sand ceremony come together after it felt like it was gonna be chaos, now that was the point when I was ready to cry. <laughs> and I yeah. remember I gave my mom a white rose and you gave your mom a white rose. And, and it was just so beautiful. And speaking of white roses, we had a theme for our wedding. It was right. 
the white roses and butterflies. As you can see, we have some artwork. My dad made this piece of artwork. And then my cousin who created a poem, she had someone to make this piece of artwork as well. Yeah, Melissa did a great job with that. She really did. And we also had a singer, Monica Hall, who did a beautiful job as well. And they do allow you to have a singer. Now they want you to keep your wedding ceremony between 15 and 20 minutes. Let's just say we were closer to the 20 minute mark. If there's anyone out there that's interested in a Carnival Cruise wedding, there is a Facebook group called Carnival Brides Unite. And you know, I was on that. Yeah. <laughs> I was on it all the time, just like mm -hmm. asking questions. So that way I wouldn't have to call Carnival every minute of the day because as a bride, you know, you want to know this, that, and the third. And that group was wonderful. So go ahead and search it on Facebook. It right. was so helpful. I think it helped me not be a bridezilla. Cause that was yeah, it. I think we're actually <laughs> going to put a link in the description for you. Yeah, we'll put a link in the description to the Facebook group if that's something that you're interested in. There was a few hiccups earlier, but I mean, when we got to the reception portion, like that was, everything was beautiful. Everything we, was the DJ uh, was really good. If you give the DJ your phone, make sure the volume's up because they're gonna just plug in the audio jack. Um, but all of the music, they let us select our own music. The food that they brought out was delicious. Delicious. Now, yeah. as far as the music, right. the songs that we had on the phone were for our specialty dances. So the Not things good. like our first dance and the mother, son, and the father, daughter dance and, and the bouquet toss type dances, but everything else they played from their own playlist. So the reception with your package, you get one hour but you can add an additional 30 minutes mm -hmm. but what i can definitely say although it went fast we were able to do everything True. we did the bouquet toss we did all of the dances i mean we just had a ball <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah it was a great time <laughs> it really was but i would definitely say that the food is delicious everyone liked the food the cake was incredible we had right. a three-tier cake the top cake we had chocolate in the yeah. middle, we had uh, vanilla with strawberry. Right. Yeah, with strawberry in the center. And, and the bottom was red velvet. Yes. Oh, and it yeah. was good. And it so, was very good. Yes, it was so, so good. A lot of the decor that we have, we got from Etsy, mm -hmm. right? If you're looking for just great wedding tools and- Yeah, if you, if you want some very nice decorations, I would definitely say check out Etsy. They have so many different stores that has everything from bouquets to to the sand and, and the sand uh, ceremony. Um, Michael's was great too, as well as um, Amazon. Always my favorite. Mm-hmm, yeah. Prime all Prime. the time. Prime, Prime all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that was cool. Um, now, one thing that I do want to tell you in reference to our exit, we did something so unique. We used the wedding wands instead. And we had a sign that said, wave a wand of well wishes to the new Mr. and Mrs. Yeah. <laughs> so that was pretty, pretty great. So if you can think of a creative way to do an exit, that would be wonderful because they will not allow those other things. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, also um, something that we, well, I thought that Carnival didn't allow was the photos. Mm -hmm. um, being that they have a professional photographer there, I thought that other people wouldn't be able to take photos in any capacity. Right. But you are allowed to use your cell phones. Mm -hmm. So if you want to take photos or actually record video, or if you have just like a small DSLR, as long as you're not interrupting the photographers that are actually paid to be there, and you're not like trying to bring your own lighting setup you'll be fine as far as photos go. Yeah, because oh, at first they were saying no professional photography, right? but you can still bring all of those things that you stated. So we took pictures after the reception mm -hmm. and that was pretty awesome. And after we took pictures, we had the honeymoon dinner. It was in the steakhouse, which was on the top floor. They had glass stairs, but right. it was really, really cool. And the food was delicious. Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, all through the cruise, the food was amazing. Yes, it was. And even with the wedding, um, our cake, they actually held it for us in the freezer. Mm -hmm. So we were actually able to get a piece of cake later. and During the dining right. time. So when it comes to cake, you are not allowed to take cake 
off of the cruise. And I know for a lot of people, after they get married for their anniversary, they like to eat that top layer of cake. So we weren't able to do that, but we decided to be a little bit different, right? Mm -hmm. A little bit unique. So what we did was we kept the bottle of champagne that they gave us. We haven't opened it at all. And we decided that we would go ahead and toast to our anniversary with that instead of having the cake. So, mm -hmm. you know, you can make lemonade out of lemons. <laughs> we had some of the, was it red velvet? Yes, it was red velvet. Yeah, we had red velvet left. So we were sharing with people we didn't even know. We made new friends because of it. We were like, you want a cake? You want a cake? The second night of the cruise was awesome. In the dining hall, yeah. they gave us a shout out as being the newlywed couple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And they sang to us, so we got serenaded, and we did a couple's dance. Just he and I, we danced in front of the whole dining hall. It was so sweet and so yeah. beautiful. And one thing I can say about Carnival is when there is a special occasion, they do make you feel absolutely wonderful. Every evening, the waiters and the wait staff would have dance jam sessions. I mean, they were getting it. Right. And one of those nights, I got up. Yeah. And I was dancing with them. <laughs> yeah, it was really, really cool, really cool. Um, the wait staff, they were from all over the world mm -hmm. and um, very great um, people. And um... I would advise you all to definitely tip, tip the waiters, tip the people who clean the rooms. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, they were so fantastic. Let's talk about the director. The carnival director for the carnival pride, mm -hmm. Cookie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was awesome and hilarious. And we actually were a part of the show. Yeah, what was it? Love, Sex, and Marriage? No, it was a Love and Marriage show. Love and Marriage. We yeah. were part of the show. And mm -hmm. let's just say after the show, people were checking on his safety because of some of his answers to some of his questions. <laughs> they were great answers. They were great answers. Uh, what? And he had me questioning my decisions. Yeah, that night. But anyway, all was well the next day, but people kept checking on him. And as we were going everywhere, people were like, newlyweds, newlyweds, newlyweds. Like they made us feel real famous. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was great. And I'm telling you, um, Try to get on a love and marriage show if you are a newlywed if you do decide to get on carnival because it is loads of fun so it was it was absolutely beautiful in nassau and freeport we ended up not being able to go to princess caves because there was a medical emergency there yeah, yeah, yeah. but that meant we got to stay in nassau for two days and so we went to atlantis which was beautiful we had a great time we saw all of the shops, we took loads of pictures, we did a lot of haggling, which was amazing. We met some great people, they were very kind. But let me tell you, it was wonderful. I would definitely say that it was also cost effective. So if you're looking for something, a wedding that isn't gonna cost you $25,000 to $30,000, this may be something that you will want to do. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Again, if you have any questions or comments about a carnival cruise wedding or a cruise wedding in general, come on, just leave a comment and I'll be sure to respond. And as always, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Remember, there's no such thing as a box. Let's go get it.